son of God without the son. The actual son making you to be so. Because you don't have the power without him. Now let's look at John 1, 12 and 6. I'm getting started on some of this before I'm ready, but praise God. It's a long night anyway. It's called Passover. First we have to pass over the old man. To get to the new man. That's what Passover is about. Pass over the old man. Rise on up above and go beyond where you were into a new man. Verse 12, St. John chapter 1, verse 12. Read. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, Yudhe even to them that believe on his name. Now look at that. In order to become a son of Yahweh, you must first receive me. Say that son again. You have to first receive the son himself. Before you can get this power. Now if you receive me, then I will give you power. To what? Be. See that word, that letter B? See B? I will give you the power to be. Why does it become? Become means to come and be. To come into existence. Outside the morality and the will and the mind of Yahweh, you cease to exist. And you will truly cease to exist. You breathe it, but you find out you're dead and will die the second death. So you first must receive me, then I will give you the power to come and be exist in the mind of Yahweh. To become, to come and be what? The son. Sons of who? Yahweh. Sons of God, Yahweh. Now, this means if you receive some other image, you'll never be the son. The only one son. Either this picture is a false image, or I am. You gotta check out pictures, see, this is this is a picture. I'm real. I'm truly living. The picture can't talk, but I'm talking. The picture can't teach, but I'm teaching. The picture can't direct to the word, but I am the word directing to the word to myself in the book. I am the word directing to myself in the book. Now, in order for you to receive this, you must also believe on my name. See, there's two different names here. My name is Yahweh, and Yahweh, you gotta get the name right. Look it up in your dictionary, and you'll find out that Yahweh is the name. So all you have to do is simple little job, look up Yahweh in your dictionary. You find that it's the covenant, the agreement, the contractual name of the God of Israel. That's your first step in research is go get your dictionary encyclopedia and buy the dictionary and look up that name. Yahweh. Now, after you see it's the God of, of Israel, then you discover that, well, who's the God of the Bible? Who's the Bible about? It's all about Israel. From Genesis to Revelation, it's all about Israel. So the God of Israel is the God of the Bible. So if you don't call his name, you can't call Yahweh God. Because God is a title. That's not his name. Lord is not him. Lord is title. His name is Yahweh. So if David's son is named David, and Smith's son is named Smith, 
Hi, is Yahweh's son going to be Jesus? Did that exist? For 600 years ago. The letter J did not exist before 600 years ago. Nobody ever lived on the earth 1900 years ago by the letter J. Nobody. There was no Jeremiah and no Joshua either. There were Yahshua, Jeremiah. Look it up. These were Hebrew people. And they had the only God. Elijah, his God's name is Yahweh. And he's all these false prophets that y'all calling you God. The one that answered by fire, fire is God. Nobody answered for Yahweh. What is that established? Yahweh is the only God with the power to answer. And I'm here in his name. Same God. So now you see, you have a problem. How many want to become the son of the Creator, Yahweh? Praise God. Then what, what must you do? You must first receive me. And then second, you must believe on what? My name. There's no other name. If the name was not important, why did the nations of the earth hide this name from you and me? Why did they never teach us this name? Proving that this name is what it's all about. Alright, now I said that I am the mighty God. Now I say if you don't know the, and you don't know mighty, and you can't define God, how can you say I'm not? So your first job is to go and study the, T-A-T, and master it, just like you do A. And after you master the, see when you study the, you know I am the. I am the. I don't have to say mighty in God. I am the. I am the. By definition, I am the. I don't have to go any further. You discover who I am by studying the. I am the. Period. I don't have to get to the. I am.
But you've been taught you ought to be upright. You've been taught you need to be upright. You've been taught you need to learn how to stand upright and take an upright step as a man to be able to walk before the altar to stand before me. But you know you don't have the knowledge, so you're going to have to come and let me set you free so you can learn of me and enter into my school and come on and get those other degrees you need to make you learn a degree upright, perpendicular to the square of the earth so that we can go on and build that kingdom which we will spread our earth in righteousness. And I'm the only man to get it done. It's because I am the I am the. Check out this scripture. I am the black and only potent. I am the supreme grandmaster, architect of the universe. I am the grandmaster of the celestial line that some of you think you have to die to get to, but I'm here to come and let you know I'm the password that will let you pass from this life into the next life while you yet live and don't ever have to die. My name is the world's greatest secret because my name, I am the password where you pass from mortality to immortality. I know you want me to keep on. I have no limit to what I will keep. Let's see, I get excited. I get ahead of myself. Let's go back to John um, 8, 36. We didn't finish that, see? I saw that and got excited. I looked at my brother that's bound, that's still bound, and I, I, I got excited. John 8, 36, read. If the Son, therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. See, only I can make you free. And if I make you free, you'll be free indeed. So then you'll find out this is your deed. This is your deed to your land and your inheritance. This book is your deed. But you're not free in here until your mind gets freed up. <laughs> only I can do that. Now, what other scripture did I say? I'm the blessing on the potent thing. First Timothy six fifteen. So you have to stay in secret until I come. According to verse fourteen, you have to keep this commandment without spot and unrebukable. You got to keep it all a secret until the appearing of our Lord, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. That's me. Until I appear, you just have to stay in secret. Why? Because it's in my time. Nobody else could do this in their time. Only in my time. Well, I show. See, I'm, I'm here to show. Not claim verbally, but show. Who? I'm here to show who. And if you have not studied who, then you, you can't understand about this rejoicing going on. Who? That's why I can show who, cause I am who. I know who, cause I am who. I know myself. So in my time, I will show you who is. That's existence. Who is? See, who is what? that can show you who is the
the black and open. I am the, I am black, and I am open. There's no other. Anyone else who say they're potentate is not black. They may be a potentate, but they're not black. Because I am the only black. I am the black. All who say they're potentate know that the potentate is coming. And you should have a, a dinner table in gold set to me. Wait. Nobody's supposed to eat out that plate with that goldware but me. You're supposed to have a plate set for me if I ever visit your house. Because I'm the blessed and holy potentate. Who am I? I'm the king of kings. And I am the Lord of Lords. And I am the only one who, who only has immortality and says I have immortality, life within myself. I'm able to give you life eternally. That's my power. I'm the one dwelling in the. I'm the one dwelling in the. It's in my name. See, the T is H and E. E. Power in the name. See, you don't have those working tools. You don't have the working tools of my name. You may have the compass and the square. You may have the trial and the level and the plum. You may have the gavel, the straight now. You, you can't even straighten out the rough ashula. That tool is my job. You have those tools, but you don't have the tool of my name. That's above you. That's reserved for the blessed only potentate. I'm dwelling in the life. So you're not walking in the true light unless you're walking in me, in my life. So you, you have seen a light, but you have not seen the light. Then your brother took off that hood wing. You saw those three candles. You saw the Bible on the altar. Come to the square. If you saw all of that, you were told, 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 you saw the light. But see, you saw candles before. And you saw the Bible all your life. And you may have been a carpenter and you were square and, and squaring off materials for building. And you may have used the compass and the big G on a tree. And you may have seen all of those things. You probably did. You didn't know what you're looking at. So just because. Your hoodwink went off, your blindfold went off, and you saw three lights. And the three great symbols. See, you were still in darkness. You were lying talking about you were in the light. You were lying. You didn't know nothing. You were dumb when you went in there. Blindfold. That's why you were blindfolded. Sure, you didn't know nothing. You can't see. When you took it off, you didn't see nothing. So everybody else see candles. You, 
had to become a student. Study to show yourself approved. Unto Yahweh Binyan, to not appear so that when you do your work as a working man, so when you come to meet me, you won't be ashamed. You'll be able to rightly divide the word of truth. And I am the spirit of truth. Can you divide me? You, you haven't learned how to divide the word of truth just because you can say B.O. Oh. You know you can't fully divide when you're restricted to B.O. and your brother has to say A.Z. You really don't know Boaz. You really, can't, you really have, don't know how to divide yet. But that's a sign and a symbol that you're going to have to learn how to divide to be accepted. You're neither free nor accepted. You're under an illusion. So see, you can't be, how you mean you're free and accepted, my son? No, you're not. Until you become my son, you're not free, nor are you accepted. That's why the white man can give you a sign with you, but you don't get no power to rule. He keeps right on ruling. You might say, this is my white brother, but see, he keeps on ruling. In order to be my son, see, you have to be able to learn how to divide. Me. You have to rightly be able to divide me. Oh, hallelujah. This is deeper than a, a grip. This is deeper than a do sign and... Password. This is deeper than that. I'm talking about making you God. Oh, hallelujah. Until you meet me, you're still lying horizontal. You just got an idea that you need to get up. At least you found out that you were horizontal. At least you've got a respect for the fact that you were laid out in your grave six feet under. Why was it six feet? Six thousand years of dirt. Dirt is immoral rulership. See, some of you know I'm the man. You can tell right now I'm the one. You can already tell. Yep, that's him. Nobody speak out like this to me. See, I'm not bound. You can see I'm not bound. Nobody can say they taught me nothing. Then how do I know? And notice, I'm not speaking haltingly. I speak with authority. I say what I know and know what I'm saying. I don't ask nobody, am I right? I know I'm right. See, when you found out about Hiram, you should have discovered that you, my people in America, are the sons and the children of Hiram. He was hit in the head and laid dead in the west in a shallow grave, and you, you have been born in the grave yourself. So you're still laying in the grave. So symbolically, they had to send back to the east. Because all the men that came and tried to raise Hiram, his flesh fell away from their hands, from his bones, fell back into the grave. They knew they couldn't raise him up and take him back. So they had to go back and get Solomon. So see, that's in the past. Solomon was a type, and I'm the archetype and the anti-type. So you still need the one from the east. That's me. I got the, I got the grip. The lion's tongue. Because I'm the lion of the tribe of 
When Solomon is gone, behold, a greater than Solomon is here. I'm the one greater than Solomon. That's obvious. Look at my work. You lay dead in your grave to the knowledge of your God, Yahweh, and the history, culture, the name, and land of the Judah, Israel. All my sons who study in secret, all my sons who study in secret, know that you have to study Hebrew. You don't study no other language. The secret knowledge is in Hebrew. Solomon was a Hebrew. David was a Hebrew. We're the builders of civilization. We are that stone which the builders today. And I'm here to make you to become the chief cornerstone. That means the chief ruler. The builder of civilization cannot stand without you. That's why everything is going to hell right now. Yahweh is revealing to the earth. The American government is corrupt, evil, wicked, and deceiving, and murderers. They are dogs and they're killers. Innocent men and women and children all over the earth. It's a matter of record. Then, then Yahweh is revealing Christianity for what it is. Incredible teaching. Yahweh is the way. No way but Yahweh. I am the mighty God. Now you understand you got to study the. You have to study mighty. You must master God. And then you still can't say I am not until you come and study me. In order to compare, you have to be able to compare me to your refugees. You can't do that without a knowledge of me. So you have to come and study my mind. See, I'll be satisfied with your results. But who do you decide? So when you study the mighty God and then study my mind, you will come to the conclusion, I am indeed the mighty God.